In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a command line game using Lazarus. That's writing in Pascal. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a visual game with buttons and so on. But for adventure game purists, there's nothing like the command line. So let's see how to do it. So let me quickly show you what I'm going to be doing in this project. This is my previous project, uh, an adventure game with a simple form with this text field and some buttons and to move around I click buttons and it tells me the room I'm going in or no exit as the case may be. Now in the new version I've programmed the same adventure game but without the visual interface so now I've got a command line and I can move around by entering simple commands and going from room to room or no exit again as the case may be. So the first thing I want to do is to create a command line project. So in Lazarus, that's project, new project, and I just select simple program and it creates this basic project. I want to save that as file, save as, and then I'll call it whatever I want to call it. Um, command line, CMD line game for example, and save that. And you can see it's renamed the program up here. Now, since I already wrote quite a lot of code that I want to reuse, I wrote it for the form-based adventure game. I'm just going to import some of those files. So the best way to do that is to open the project inspector and then selecting files, you can click add and you can browse to the files you want. Now, to save time, I'm going to do what they do in cookery programs and show you one I prepared earlier. Now here I've just imported these two units, av classes and unit1.paz, which were in my previous adventure game, the one that used the form with the buttons on. Add classes is quite simple. It currently just declares the room class, so the room class has uh, name and a description and exits uh, north, south, west and east. If you need more on that, see my previous video. So nothing has changed there. That remains the same. Unit 1, however, has changed uh, and I'll explain why. So let's quickly look at Unit 1 from the uh, previous version. This is the visual design. So unit one has uh, all the code relative to dealing with buttons and forms. So you can see up here, the main class is the form itself. This is automatically written to a large extent when I uh, do the design in Lazarus. And I've got the form create, which uh, creates the rooms and puts them in an array for the map, sets the position of the player. Uh, then I've got these various procedures down here to look and show a description of the room and to move to uh, a new room if there's a, a new room in the north when I click the north button or display no exit if there is no new room. Again, I'm not going to go through this in detail because I explained it in the previous um, video. But let's look at how I've had to adapt unit one because there is no form in my new version. So this is my new unit one. And you can see up here, instead of the form, I now have the class for this unit as a, a game. I've just called it game and defined it as a class and it contains the map, the position, and the declaration of the various uh, procedures. Now, the procedures themselves are very similar to those in the previous version, but they don't refer to the form. Anything to do with buttons has gone. So when the game is created, I initialize it by creating the map, setting the position of the player, and then I have this new procedure, which is the main loop. The main loop simply keeps on running uh, while the while this is true and what is true is while input is not Q. So as soon as the input is Q, somebody's entered the letter Q to quit, then the loop exits. There's this case statement here and that just analyzes what the user has entered at the command prompt. Currently, 
only single characters are permitted in this very, very simple program, NSWE or L, and those call the NSWE or L um, procedures. Well, let's look at, uh, sorry, look procedures. So look just shows the name and description of the room, and then the N, S, W, and E uh, procedures just move the player to the room at a given exit. The only real change I've made here from the previous versions, apart from making game the um, class referenced uh, in each procedure instead of the form, the only other change I really made is, um, you can see in the form version, I've had memo one dot append to display output and of course I haven't got a memo in the command line version so I have to write it uh, to the command line and that's pretty much all I've really had to do. The uh, only other thing I've had to do, you can take a time to look at this code if you like, I'll just scroll through it so you can pause and refer to it if you need to. The only other thing I've had to do is in the uh, main unit, the unit that runs on startup, well it has to use unit one, and then it has this run game procedure. All that does is create the game object and call the main loop to run it until the user enters quit, and or queue for quit, and um, be between this main begin and end, then I just call the procedure run game, and that's all I've had to do to create this simple command line program, Q for quit, press key to end, and there you go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to get notifications whenever I upload new videos. Now, if you want to go on and create a more extensive adventure game using Lazarus, well, I'd recommend you look at my previous series. I've got a whole series, a whole playlist on how to write adventure games, the principles and techniques. Most of that series uses either Java or C Sharp, but it shows you the basic way of going about it. If you want more help using Pascal, I'll be coming back to show how to do that. But if you already know a bit of Pascal or you want to know how to extend your knowledge of Pascal, go to my playlist showing adventure games in Java and C Sharp and see how far you can get adapting it for use with Lazarus. I'll be back with more soon. Subscribe, click the bell, and you'll get notifications whenever I upload new lessons.